<laughs> as you come back into and the organization welcome and we welcome you for that. Um, as I was speaking with Anders, one of the challenges mm. that he mentioned uh, from last year was supply. Mm. Um, and of course, supply is, 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 is a function of many things. Sure. Um, but maybe, you, you know, you may have been onboarded on some of the things that we went, we went through and, and, and what your thoughts are on how we can resolve those going into 2024. Yeah, thanks. I, I think, um, you know, securing supplies is a bunch of end-to-end -end processes, yeah. as you said. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, for me, it's about right product, right place, right quality, right time at the right cost to deliver the brand value that we're trying to extract from the market. Yes. And I think if we, if we narrow that down, you know, and I look at, spoke to Anders about some of last year's challenges, I, I think we really need to look at our manufacturing excellence regime. And if, if you, you know, when you look at manufacturing, people like a lot of complex metrics and KPIs around uptime and seconds and scrap and delivery. But, but ultimately, you know, I, I'd like us to focus this year on, on two aspects. One is manufacturing security and one is manufacturing efficiency. And what I've been talking to the teams about is you can't make something efficient until it's secure. So I think we need to go back to some things around our manufacturing units. And, and by the way, you know, I think one of the strengths in our group, back to the new colour line, which is pretty much the latest, you know, painting technology, um, is we have a really good bunch of assets. But it's like having a Rolls Royce, if you don't maintain it, uh, eventually it will falter. So I think manufacturing security, we will go back to looking at our maintenance programs, our, our spares management, how we actually sweat the assets in the most cost-effective way. Uh, we clearly need to get our, our, our non-prime down, in other words, our, our prime first time up. And um, I think on the other side, then we can look at efficiency. And efficiency is, is really down to all our bright operational people around how we can get the, the best out of the assets at the lowest cost.